So the dark side of 4chan. So what? if you don't know what 4chan is, I genuinely wish I was as naive as you. Because it is essentially a congregation of human excrement in the form <laughs> of an accessible and navigatable web page that's, that's that was originally created for it. anime. It is a platform it? known for its degeneracy and is essentially a worse and darker version of Reddit. Yes, your favourite subreddit that is unhinged and regularly posts war crimes is a fetus compared to 4chan. Jesus Christ. And if you didn't know, 4chan users and Reddit users absolutely hate each other. They do. Because Reddit keeps stealing some of 4chan's posts and puts them on r slash green text. <coughs> so on 4chan, Reddit users are known as Reddit and the slayer for people that are homosexual. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, I browse r slash green text most of the time, so I'm one of them. And some of the stories are very unique and actually quite entertaining and horrifying, if true, but we'll get into that later. But in summary, 4chan has a terrible reputation for good reason, and we'll go into why that perception is accurate. With the majority of the reasons being it's a platform for racism, Holy hate shit. speech, and overall discrimination, Holy shit. along with some pretty dark and gruesome crimes. And we'll go into a few of them, with it slowly getting oh more Lord. disturbing as the video goes along, so be oh warned. Lord. But thank you to the person in the comments for recommending this topic. <laughs> I genuinely felt insulted you thought I knew what 4chan was. And unfortunately, you were correct. Now, how did 4chan get so popular? It was originally created by a 15 year old to talk about anime. Wait, how what? did it get into the state it is today? Well, 4chan is assumed to be the wild west of forums, where anyone can do and post whatever they want. And whilst that was true a few years ago, it isn't anymore. Rules like do not post any illegal material and do not spam are two of the rules you must follow, but each forum has their own set of rules. But 4chan is in its safest era compared to previous years. But another uh -huh. attractive feature of 4chan is its anonymity. On 4chan, you do not have to create an account, so people cannot find your post history or hmm. follow you around like on Reddit. This also means that you are void of consequences due to the fact no one can tie it to you, so you can freely post whatever you want to your heart's content and not have to face any of the backlash. Oh, do and the you? creator designed it this way to truly prioritise anonymity due to the fact most social media platforms and platforms in general don't do the same anymore. A majority of the time you are tied to whatever you post on those platforms. And if you post something people don't like, you can get banned, but on 4chan, you can't. Another feature of 4chan is the fact posts are temporary. Once the oh. forums have reached their limit, they start dropping posts. Wait, if what? one of those posts gets significant dislikes, it's dropped straight away. Wait, Meaning what? overall, there is no catalogue of posts, and the only way they are captured is if someone copy and pastes them again, or if someone screenshots it and subsequently uploads it to Reddit. <laughs> now, 4chan is also known for its memes, most of them very popular and originating from 4chan. I'm talking Pepe, the Rick Roll, and the Warjack. But most of you probably- Paper originates on 4chan? Holy shit, I didn't know. <laughs> and... The one thing... I always think of when hearing 4chan is when 4chan literally comes together comes together and does war crimes or something. Like, 4chan to me always seemed like a scary place. Oh, memes originate on 4chan. Probably no 4chan <laughs> from the way the text is formatted. Like I said before, the Reddit page r slash green text, where you can find archived posts like this. Be me, have degenerate sister. Stalk her Twitter sometimes and found out she has OnlyFans. Oh lord. Want to show her the dangers of showing her body on the internet. <laughs> idea.jpg subscribe to her only fans with a fake name oh no oh and no. her thrust okay they're a little thrust tell her by paying for specific videos like toe spreading and doing things with objects owned by her brother oh. troll her by asking her to record a video with her brother no she would never do that tell her i know where she lives and if she doesn't deliver she'll suffer the consequences uh. sis thinks it's just a bluff Write out her address to scare her. Mom is sewing on the couch next to our big window. 
idea2.png. Tell her her mom looks cute sewing. Tell oh her my to God. be careful while she sleeps. What the fuck? Bitch blocks me. <laughs> be dinner time. She looks really anxious and isn't talking much. Hope she learns her fucking lesson. This is just one example and it is the most tame one compared to any of the rest. And for the love of God, I hope oh, it is not true. Shit. Aside from these type of posts, 4chan has been used as a terrible tool. I generally thought, I generally thought it's gonna have a different turning. I generally thought she was gonna, uh, like, make moves on her brother. I generally thought that was about to be the start of some stupid as porn scene. I mean, corn scene, right? As well. In the past, 4chan users had found a flaw with the Times Magazine's voting system. The Times Magazine's voting system is basically voting for the person that should be on the front of the Times Magazine, and is often reserved for the most positive, influential people. But they had found a flaw in the URL, where if you change the name of the person you are voting for, and keep the ID of the person that's gonna actually get the vote, the link will appear like you're voting for, I don't know, Will Smith? <laughs> but the ID within that link can be for someone else entirely. Okay, and even I the see. the few characters I display see. a different name, you're in fact voting for someone else. Okay. Oh no. Stop point and rolling us! website development was an issue, another one would oh, be that the form of submitting was just clicking the link. So if you accidentally clicked this link, well, well done. Knowing 4chan, you probably just voted for Jeffrey Epstein. And because random people were clicking on these links, all the IP addresses tied to these said votes uh -oh. were considered authentic because they uh -oh. all were coming from different parts of the world and different locations. Uh -oh. People were just naive to the fact they were voting for someone else. But whose ID were they actually putting in the link? Oh, Who did no. they want to win? Oh, Who did they want to be at number one oh, no. on the top 100 of the most influential people? Well, it would be Christopher Poole, or Moot as he's known who is the creator of 4chan. And not only did oh. they manipulate the votes for him to win, no, they would take it a step further and show the world how much power and how much of degenerates they are by not just manipulating the top, but the top 20 to spell out marble cake. Do what? not Google marble cake, especially what? if you're at school or work. Chat, what is marble cake? Chat, what is marble cake? <laughs> what is marble cake, chat? I I'm looking at it on, on a different browser. I'm gonna look at it on a different browser. Oh wait, I should all I should probably do it in incognito. Uh, control shift add as incognito, right? That's just cake. That's just marble cake. What? That's just marble cake. What? Why are people so. What? If... But it's literally just a cake. Did I misspell it? Hidden meanings. M marble cake meme. I still don't know. Okay, what about marble cake fortune? I didn't see anything, I just read it. I didn't see anything, thankfully. I just read the meaning. But, uh, uh, Oh, Lord. For those who don't get it, um... 
It's for the best. It's for the best. Because it is a reference to a sexual activity that I am unfortunately educated on now, and as a result, need an urgent lobotomy to erase that fact <laughs> from my brain. But the creator of 4chan would be blamed for this, and people thought he hacked the website or sent people to do it. But later on he basically explained nobody hacked anything, they just took advantage of poor website engineering. But subsequently he did win and he was the most the influential mom. person of 2009's Times Magazine. Now if that doesn't tell you how influential and dedicated these 4chan users can be, by just having the goal of causing devastation and havoc, the next part will. 4chan would craft propaganda and misleading information that would spread like a wildfire all over the internet, stoking the flame of activism in many communities, such as when Justin Bieber was at his peak, with his brain-numbing song, Baby, Baby, Baby. Baby, 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 Ooh. That song is like a sleeper agent activation code for a lifetime of Vietnam flashbacks for kids growing up back then. But a yep. lot of people like Justin from this song, most of the time naive girls, so 4chan would use their likeness against them and create a false narrative that Justin Bieber had cancer. He did not even know that song emits gamma radiation, enough to make a Geiger counter sound like a rave. But no, they did this by creating false screenshots from popular news sources on Twitter saying that he did have the illness and Justin replying to it saying that he is so grateful for the people showing their support and shaving their own heads for hashtag going bald for Justin. And this was accompanied by some pictures of some girls that apparently had done said no! which had a tremendous reaction. No! A large percentage of his audience generally thought he had cancer. <laughs> I like the way you have a girl breaking down and just a girl in the corner with the <laughs> biggest smile making sure she's recording this in 1080p. And some of them even following the trend and shaving all their hair off with some of them even saying they will do it eventually. But after this was all said and done wow. and it was debunked, they weren't done with Justin just yet. Seeing how naive and impressionable his fans were, they would take another stab at causing havoc. This one even more despicable and dire than the previous. So what would they do this time? Well, a picture was going around of Justin Bieber ah. smoking weed. Obviously most media sources lost their minds at, oh no, a celebrity is doing drugs. You know, as long as it ain't black tar heroin, then I'm fine with it personally but 4chan would take this situation and twist it to something even worse. Instead of the hashtag going bald for Justin, it was now hashtag cutting for Justin. As mean the goal was to self harm until just- You put the shop tongs! You've put up with me for this long, damn girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then stopped smoking weed. But started by 4chan, it would lead to other websites like Twitter, where unfortunately one girl would actually do it, and post the pictures online and tag Justin directly. One, this shows how disturbing and how loyal the fans of Justin Bieber are, especially in the 2013 period. Oh, and two, Lord, it just shows really how much influence 4chan has on the internet as a whole. It's so crazy. As I crazy. said before, they can start one rumour and it that will spread so like crazy. wildfire. But rumours and misinformation hasn't been the worst thing 4chan users have done, as there are even more sinister stories revolving around 4chan, as it seems to be a honeypot for the most depraved, sociopathic, and outcasted individuals. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is quite horrifying, oh, especially shit. compared to the other things I've talked about. First, if you committed a grave crime, what would you do? You'd either first panic as the guilt slowly washed over you, depends and if you wanted to commit in, it, you'd attempt to cover. That depends on if you wanted to commit it, right? Wait, my baby boy just got cancer. <laughs> no! <laughs> Post the cops on 4chan, Jesus. Wasn't there? I don't know if it was on 4chan, but... No, I think it was posted on Discord where there was like an obsessed fan with a streamer. And he... Literally killed her and posted the pictures on Discord. That shit's insane. Like, Jesus. Up the crime under severe panic of the consequences. Oh, it's Felix. One fortune user would do the most despicable crime and not even think of the first two options I just mentioned. And instead, what? after committing his crime, oh, no. would take to 4chan 
and oh, post no. pictures of the crime he oh, had no. done with the following captions. Oh no, what did Turns he do? Turns out it's way harder to strangle someone to death than it is on the movies. Even coaxing people to check the news in the area for this person's disappearance and later unfortunate demise. Accompanied by one of the last statements they would make on 4chan that is just purely disgusting and gives you an idea of this person's headspace. Her son will come home from school soon. What They'll the find fuck? Her, then call the cops. The images the person would upload what? would be the pictures of his victim and their unfortunate lifeless body as they were strangled to death. With some saying in the pictures the victim wasn't even clothed. And this oh is the my. crime of the 4chan user uh, David Kalak, who in a fit of rage, after his girlfriend had aborted his baby, would argue with said girlfriend whilst intoxicated and subsequently strangle her to death. Not before writing all of her body and all around the room, insults regarding her and referencing the baby being aborted. After committing the crime he would take to the road, where the next morning he would post the pictures to 4chan with said captions. The son of the victim did indeed find her, but that was when they came home from school because they felt sick. So unfortunately oh no. the victim had been there for quite a while. The police were called. David would be the first suspect as he had took all of his belongings and stole her car, which would lead to a manhunt from Washington State to Oregon, with police getting tips along the way from the pictures of her body. Now Calic wanted the police to kill him. He wanted it to be suicide by police. So he had taken a BB gun, made it look like an actual gun, what the with fuck? the plan of pointing it at the police so they would open fire. At the end of the manhunt, he had ditched the car and gone into a forest for refuge, where he would set up a basic camp and supposedly write his final note, describing who he is and what he had done. But David wouldn't follow through with the plan as police were closing in his position, and he backed out of his plan and just walked up to an officer that was looking around through the woods and told him who he was and what he had done, what leading to his arrest. In 2017, he would be sentenced to 82 years in prison. 82? Where he would respond to such wow. terms by saying he deserved it, but then being such a hypocrite that he would try and overturn it. And him and his lawyers appealed the Fuck. sentence, which thank God Fuck. was not accepted. And to this day, he still remains behind bars. But if you thought him taking a mother away from her children was bad, it gets even worse because the kids oh, no. saw the images. The victim had four children, and most of them saw them, along with other 4chan users circulating them, to the point where they were found on multiple social media websites, and they had to ban the images. Where if that file with that specific date was posted, it was immediately revoked. But the damage was done, and the kids were scarred for life, and without a mother. Now 4chan definitely is one of the cesspools of the internet, mainly because it's anonymous, with no backlash or consequences to what you can post. Whether it's creating propaganda that will lead to people harming themselves, or posting the results of your heinous crime, or even just spreading hate speech and derogatory terms, all of that sits on 4chan. And it very well deserves its reputation, even if it has birthed multiple memes and entertainment through green texts. It still has a past with heinous crimes that I haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg with. But thank you for Rake Toeswitch for recommending this as a topic for this video. I probably butchered your name and you deserved it. And thank you no. to the Coffee House Crime. I came upon their video when researching the David Callick case, and it went more into depth than this video ever could. But anyway, sleep scared wow. tonight. There is probably a 4chan user under your bed. You just don't know it. But anyway, bye bye. 4chan user doesn't fit under my bed.